Okay, this is video three of uh, Minesweeper. Uh, we already have initialized our board. We know that we can print out our board. Uh, we need to uh, count the number of neighbors uh, of each cell. Okay, so when we write a function called count neighbors, we will pass in the array, we will pass in the row that we're looking at, and the column that we're looking at, and those two will give us one cell. And then what we want to do is we look, want to look at the eight cells around that. So if we scroll back up here a ways. Uh, so if this is the cell that I'm looking at right here, then it has eight neighbors. Uh, this is row minus one, column minus one, row minus one, column, row minus one, column plus one. Uh, this is the same row, column minus one, same row, column plus one, and obviously you skip over the cell itself. And this is uh, row plus one, column minus one, row plus one, column, row plus one, column plus one. So those are the eight cells that we need to check. And let's go over and let's write some code. Okay. So, by the way, I just... Uh, between videos here, I realized that uh, there's one thing here we don't really need. We don't need uh, to store the texture. Uh, we can figure out what the texture is by um, looking at uh, this stuff up here. And uh, what did I do wrong? Let me see. Where does this go? Um, load content. Um, I do not need to do that. At least I think I don't. So let's uh, let's count neighbors, okay? Um, so I want to visit every cell, but this time I'm starting with one and going to ten. Uh, I've got that border around it, which is um, you know row and column zero, and then on the right side and the bottom is column eleven and row eleven. So I'm just going to go from 1 to 10, though, because that's where my Minesweeper cells are. So 4 int r equals 1, r is less than or equal to, um, is, is less than um, board size, which is 12, and I want it to be less than 11, so minus 1. I think that will work. Uh, we'll find out. And then I want to do R plus plus, okay? And then I want to visit each column while I'm on a given row. So for C equals 1, uh, C is less than board size minus 1, C plus plus, okay? Then I want to count the neighbors for uh, this particular cell. And uh, so I need a count variable, and we're going to start counting from zero every single time. So int uh, count equals zero. And then what I want to do is I want to look at all eight neighbors. So I can only do it one at a time. I, so I, there, I could do it nested loops, but that's more trouble than it's worth. So uh, let's check the upper left hand corner. Uh, if cell at uh, upper left hand corner be row minus one comma column minus one dot um, has bomb, uh, then what I want to do is count plus plus. Uh, if the cell right above, which would be row minus one, but the same column, dot has bomb, uh, then count plus plus. Uh, if the cell above and to the right, so it's r minus one, column plus one to the right, dot has bomb, uh, then count plus plus. Uh, if uh, now we go down to uh, the row that the cell is on, cell sub r comma column minus one, that'd be the cell immediately to the left of our cell, has bomb. Then count it. And if uh, cell on the same row to the but to the right, column plus one has a bomb. Uh, then count plus plus. Then go down to the row below. If uh, cell r plus one, uh, column minus one, that would be bottom left, dot has bomb. Uh, no parenthesis, dot has bomb. 
count plus plus. Uh, if the one immediately below, which is cell sub uh, R plus one, but same column dot has bomb, uh, count it. And the last one would be the bottom right. Uh, that would be if cell, uh, the row below us, R plus one, uh, the column to our right, column plus one, dot has bomb, uh, count, uh, I got an extra character on the end there, fingers are too fat. And if that's the case, count plus plus, okay? So I've counted all the neighbors now. The only thing I need to do is I need to put that into um, the current cell dot neighbor count, or neighboring bombs, uh, equals count, okay? And you know what? Just for debugging purposes, you know, you don't want to go too far uh, with, with bad code. So uh, when I get all done with all of these loops here, both of these loops, um, I should have uh, the counts. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some nested loops in here that will print them out. So um, I can see uh, in my output window, uh, less than, uh, I know it's 10, I'll just put that in, it's just debugging code, uh, R++ plus plus and 4. And what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do um, I want to write it out. And we'll put a space and then we will put um, the current uh, number uh, comma and cell sub r comma c dot uh, neighboring bombs. Okay. Uh, when we've done all 10 of those in a row, then I want to go to a new uh, row. So console dot right line. Okay. So this should match uh, whatever I see uh, on my uh, game board. So let's go ahead and run it now. Okay. So, um, this cell up here has one neighbor. It says one neighbor. Uh, none of those have one neighbor. Um, so something is wrong. Let's go back in. Let's see if I'm printing out the right stuff. I am not. I want to go from 1 to 10. I was starting uh, at 0 and going to 9. Okay. So this one has 0 neighbors, but um, these each have one neighbor. Why does it say that guy has two neighbors? Um, Did you notice everything got moved down a little bit too uh, when I did that? Uh, so my calculations up here where I'm figuring out the rectangles uh, went too far. Um, so this is going to be C minus 1. Because I, and the reason I have to do this is because um, uh, 
I don't want to print out row zero or column zero. And um, so, um, well, there's a couple of possibilities here. Um, I'm reasonably confident um, that this is drawing it out, writing it out correctly. Um, let's see um, where I plant the bombs. Um, so I've got a hundred of them uh, and I randomize them. And then I want to go from 0 to 100, uh, 0 to 99, and um, this is not correct. And again, I'm off by one. Uh, I want uh, row zero here to actually go into row one. So I need to uh, take this number here, plus one. Okay. And uh, the column needs to have one added onto it, too. Um, I don't need. Parentheses. I guess I didn't need them down here either. Um, now let's let me take a quick look at uh, where I'm counting the neighbors. Just make sure that uh, I'm going from one uh, to what did I say board size was. Um, board size is ten, uh, so I want to go from one to ten really botch this stuff up. Okay, row minus one, column minus one, row minus one, column, row minus one, column plus one. Row, same row, column minus one, same row, column plus one. I don't do RC. Uh, next row, next row, next row, previous column, same column, next column. And uh, add count on. Okay, let's uh, let's try it now. Let's see what we get. Okay, so I got zeros all the way across. Um, one and a two and a two. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, well, apparently I was should be ten, um, and I think uh, this off by one business is causing problems for me. So, but we'll work our way through it. So. Uh, counting the neighbors, I want to go board size. Let me just check. Board size is 10. I want to go from 1 to 10. I want to go from 1 to 10 for my rows and my columns. Um, this part um, I think is correct. Um, down here, I want to go from 1 to 10 and 1 to 10 and um, write out how many neighboring bombs there are at this row and this column. Um, yeah, that part looks correct too. Uh, so when I am initializing, when I'm planting the bombs, um, there's a hundred of them, and um, I mod it by ten. So give me a number from zero through nine. I add one until give me a number from one through ten. Uh, I divide by 10, I'll get a number from 0 through 9, add 1 on 2, I'll get a number from 1 through 10. Um, and so I think that part is correct. Um, and um, initialize the board. Okay, I'm doing every cell here because I also want to initialize the ones around the outside. Um, R is less than board size. Uh, actually, I don't want to do board size. Um, R is, I want to go all the way across. So R is less than board size plus 2. Um, And 
So R is going to go from 0 to 11, which is what I want. Column is going to go from 0 to 11, which is what I want. Um, and um, take the column minus 1 times the cell width. Um, Give it a try. How about that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got ten of them. Um, this top guy here, uh, each one of these has one neighbor, so we see the little U around that. Um, this guy and this guy each have one neighbor. Uh, that's row three. Uh, get to row four. Uh, this guy has one neighbor. It's this guy. This guy has two neighbors. Uh, this guy has two neighbors. Um, I don't see any place where we've got three neighbors with this particular configuration. Uh, down here, this guy has zero. This guy has one. This guy should have one. And as I'm pointing up here, I am checking down here. Um, this guy has no neighbors. Uh, this guy has one neighbor. This guy has one neighbor. This guy has zero neighbors. This guy has one. I'm just working my way across the bottom row from right to left. This guy has one. This guy has one. This guy has one. This guy has two. This guy has two. This guy has one. And I think we finally got it. But that off by one business was kind of uh, kind of annoying. And uh, the only reason is I was just not paying enough attention, which is uh, not a good thing to do when you're writing code. Okay, let's stop there.